Hello guys, KP Shamino here with another guide. So this time it's about the cut trout. Trout. Uh, yeah, it's not a really loved fish because not a lot of people fish on it. But I'm going to show you guys a really good spot for him. And I'm still in Oregon. So where you need to go to catch a lot of cut trout is over here the the waterfall so the waterfall cascade you need to go there and i will show you guys it it's a strange i was just fishing around and uh yeah like always i throw a couple of times at the same place with lure that i know that i can catch a fish that i want to to catch on that moment so what i did here i was really surprised so what you need to do you just need to go to the rock here and then you stand here and the strange thing is all the, the trout, the cut trout, trout is over here. Like this is a sweet spot so that's around 7 to 8 meters. So you don't need to throw that far away, you just need to yeah, throw like here, like this. My drag is on 3, my speed is on 2 and I'm at the moment fishing with the spinner, the beetle spinner, so just throw in. Let your uh, spinner go to the ground. By the way, what I saw was I tried the, the narrow, I tried the spinner. Oh, look, did you see it? That was already uh, a bite. Yeah, I was too late. That's what I mean. It, it's totally full with fish here. So, uh, yeah, I already got my... So, I was just explaining. My, my bait was going down to the ground and I already had a bite. So, let's do it again. But now I'm going to be awake. So that's how many uh, trout, cut trout, trout is sitting here in front of me. So uh, just wait a little bit. Let's the bait go to the bottom. Yeah, with the spinner it takes some time because it's not. Uh so what you do, just just reel in, very slow. Just strike out a little bit that your lure is going up and down. Then reel in a little bit, wait a little bit. Like you can see, I'm now 6 meters from uh, where I'm standing. So I'm practical fishing in front of me, on my feet. But I don't think we're going to have a bite this try. No, let's, uh, let's reel in and let's go again. The good thing is, if you don't need to cast that far, you can go really fast with the fishing. So if you want to have some trout achievements, uh, or you want to have the trophy cut trout uh, here, so let's let it go like this. Yeah, it takes some time. It's very deep water here, so, and then we go again. Yeah, and here we go, like I said. It's like it's paradise, it's just uh yeah, unbelievable how many uh trouts. Oh and it's a trophy one. Yeah, that's uh my first trophy one and right away like always in the video. So uh, yeah I need to release him because I'm only level fifteen. But that's a sweet spot, uh how you need to fish show. You come to the rock here maximum distance that you throw 50 meters you reel back in and uh, yeah you're going to catch a lot of uh, cut throat trout here I'm going to show of course like always my setup so uh, you my setup isn't really special so uh, it's this one so I'm just using the Jester 210 the low dex 1500 reel I'm going with the mech fin 0.15 millimeters that's the thickness of my uh, line but you guys already know that and what I saw the best lure is the spinner I did uh, some testing ignore the brown trout but if you see this is my rainbow spinner it works really well then I tried the narrow spoon it works really well too but the main problem is they 
the catching is not so fast as with the spinners. The narrow spoon 7 is very easy because it's 7G instead of 4G, so it goes really quick to the bottom, so you can start in reeling him, but I would not use him. Uh, but for me, uh, the, the beetle was the best. The beetle, uh, that's almost every throw, I got like a bite on it. I tried to chat uh, 7 centimeters here too, but uh, no success. So uh, that didn't work for me. So just get yourself a spinner, throw it uh, before your feet. It's a little bit silly because, yeah, you are spinning for like 8 meters maximum. But that's a sweet spot, guys. And you saw that I can just catch my first uh, trophy. Uh, it's not complicated. There is not a lot of reason why you would farm this fish, but I just made the movie. You never know that somebody needs it. But thanks for watching. Happy fishing. Bye bye.